darlings, Luxland ATL here with a, another video. And this one I'm so excited to do because this starts our travel series. And I am so excited to be able to share a little bit more about my life so you can get to know me, who is Lynn, who is Luxland ATL. There's so many different pieces to this puzzle of me. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on those notifications because traveling season has started. We are booking a trip. Actually, right now, we've been going back and forth trying to decide where that trip is. So that's coming up in April. We also are Leos. And when I say we, I mean me and my husband. I am married. And we have a trip planned probably a girls trip planned in May coming up and also a trip coming up in August. So we cannot go on and move any further without shouting out Portia Tier who did my beautiful makeup today. And she's actually moving to a new salon space that's beautiful and I will put the link below where you can find her. So if you are looking for a makeup artist in the Atlanta area, absolutely check her out. Look at, look at these eyes, y'all. Like beautiful, lush, peach tones going on. I can't do this at all, so let's take it in. Thank you so much. The makeup was beautiful and she does anything from special occasions, weddings, birthdays, prom, so absolutely check her out. Her Instagram will be linked below, so don't miss out. Um, and the salon is absolutely beautiful too. They do hair, they do micro links, they do sew-ins, a little bit of everything, so don't miss out. We'll be including some footage on that on another video, but this video is all about travel. So <laughs> just letting you know a little bit more about me, I am always ready to jump on a flight, jump on a train, plane train, automobile, road trip it up. I'm always trying to go somewhere. So these videos will start the Lux Travel series of videos and I can't move forward without sending you guys back. <laughs> Insert back. Remix. Into where I have been. And so as I was, you know, categorizing my trips and where were my favorites and where do I absolutely have to go, I know if you've seen my wish list for 2022, you see Seychelles is on that list, but where have I already gone? I don't know if I talked about it, but I figured you can just talk about where you've gone. I gotta show you. So I have been traveling for quite a while. Um, got my second passport last year. So let's talk about some of those stamps that we got on the first passport. And this trip right here was one for the books. Um, this is absolutely my favorite trip that I've ever taken. Nothing has topped since this, but it was a honeymoon trip. So totally understand why, but how many of y'all want to go to Italy? How many of y'all? already been to Italy. So this trip is going to absolutely um, intrigue you if you're not already intrigued by Italy, um, make you want to book a trip, make you want to like, you know, discover more parts of this beautiful country. So I'll get started because I don't want to ramble. But <laughs> the first thing that we did um, on our Italy excursion or our Italy honeymoon was we took a couple of different couple of different cities that we wanted to travel to and Italy is huge so we started out in Rome because you can't not go to Rome if you go to Italy I would say first things first absolutely check out Rome because it's absolutely beautiful and it's also where you know the capital is so there's a lot of history still in Rome um, it's a busy city a big city but it's so much to do so Rome was three days for us and we started here. We stayed at the Hotel Dharma. So I'll give you guys a little bit more background on that in this video. 
and then the second spot we went to was Tuscany so from Rome we did take a train down to Tuscany a little bit close to Florence to this really beautiful little town called Castle Glianchelli del Torino. I always laugh when I say that because I'm probably not sounding Italian at all. I'm from Atlanta, so you know, you know. But <laughs> this town um, is the home of Monte Verde, which is here. Absolutely breathtaking. There's villas and rolling hills and cypress trees and beautiful little towns where you can stop off and have a glass of wine, try out some Sangiovese grapes, some Brunellos, um, take some tours of some castles. And then last on the stop, we ended our trip in Amalfi Coast. Beautiful. So we went from city to country to beach or city, country. To, to water um, so we got a little bit of everything in our trip and that was perfect so we ended the trip here in Amalfi Coast we spent the last three days in Sorrento at Bel Serene and it was absolutely the perfect way to end the trip so three days in Rome three days in Tuscany three days in Amalfi so if you're interested in Italy or if you're curious about Italy, by all means, let's watch this video. The hotel is beautiful, extremely accessible to all of the um, touring spots in Italy. So not far from the fountain, from the Trevi. So let's talk about the Vatican and the Colosseum. Um, Colosseum, those tours were something that I would say when you want to check off your bucket list of going to Italy that's one of the main reasons um, we made sure we stopped in Rome just because of these beautiful museums and pictures and the Vatican alone separate <laughs> of the Colosseum could be two separate days. So just be careful when you're tasking yourself on this itinerary of seeing everything that you can in a short amount of time. Make sure you have some food, make sure you have some breakfast before you go. Make sure you have on some comfortable walking shoes. Make sure, you know, if you're going in the summertime, you do like I did and bring a cute little fan that's battery charged because you're gonna be hot. Um, but the Vatican has some of the most beautiful, um, uh, the, the artwork and the paintings on the ceilings. Um, <laughs> you are not supposed to photograph, but you know, you sneak a, sneak a picture in there. Now the Colosseum, I will say I wasn't, this wasn't something that was on like my bucket list and I'm not sure why I wasn't like, oh, I have to go here. I've seen the pictures, knew a little bit about the history, but like the Coliseum is an amazing story of history, especially when you think about what they were doing there, um, how they were bringing people out to fight. And then you can see the actual cages um, you can see where people were sitting. You can envision exactly what was going on in these times. It's, it's a must-see for sure. Um, and then the surrounding area of the Colosseum is basically old world Rome. Um, you can literally go walk the same streets um, that people did in Rome. Some of those buildings are like, you still can see the stairs, you can see the archways. Um, it's amazing, the history that's there. Um, and you can also see the ruins of these homes and what they looked out to, um, what they saw in their era. Um, and it's so amazing and cool to see and it's even pretty, it's pretty cool when you hear the tour guides tell you the stories of, you know, some of the things that they have there that came over from other countries. But Rome is a an amazing, amazing place to see. 
So Rome, in, in a nutshell, is a definite must-see if you're taking a trip to Italy. Um, for me, Rome was about more of the whole entire city. It encompassed so much history, but there was also a metropolitan vibe. The nightlife in Rome is amazing. You can go out at any time and like go grab some limoncello or have a glass of wine in a trattoria. The pasta there was absolutely amazing. Um, of course, I can say so much more about the limoncello, the gelato, but the culture there, um, very strong. There's a lot of great shopping. Um, it's, it's pretty much the New York of Italy, I would say, besides maybe Milan, but definitely check it out. Straight music in the background. Ended up on a train um, that was so fast and amazing and pulled up to a driver that drove us um, through the boondocks in these beautiful rolling hills and it took us to Monte Verde which is my absolute favorite place that I have ever stayed it is in a cute little town called Castle Lianchelli del Torino, which is very close to Florence, um, about maybe 20, 20 minutes away from Florence. And just wait till you see this place. It is absolutely breathtaking. The views are amazing. The resort is up a hill that all of a sudden, once you get through these woods, it opens up to a little villa looks almost like a town there actually are about two or three residents that live there that actually um, have been the OGs and have been there you know for a, a very long time and the hotel thankfully I'm like can you say was so sweet that they didn't kick them off the property so they still live there but it's beautiful like stone um, these amazing gardens, this infinity pool. The spa is amazing. I could go on and on about how much I love this place, but just check it out. So one of my favorite spa times was at Monte Verde. This spa deserves its own video, but I got what I could. And from memory, this spa has one of the most beautiful and creative ways that they have a hot mineral springs tub um, that's used for all spa guests. I think all hotel guests could use it, but it's set in this amazing bluish gray stone. Um, you can sit in the pool and the jets massage your back and your legs. It's amazing and the view from this spa it it's 
something you can't even explain, which you'll see on the video, but the best massage I've ever had, ever. Best massage ever. Monte Verde was and is on my top list of resorts. And also, Rachel Ray had rented a villa there and the food was even better. They have a restaurant on the property um, that we had dinner and breakfast at. And if Rachel Ray was there, clearly they're doing all the right things. But this spot was amazing. Definitely a must do. So we woke up the next day and um, Monte Verde and we took a day tour with a driver who was amazing and he took us to about two or three different little towns. We had a wine tasting in Solara at Solara um, Vineyards which is owned by an amazing Italian woman. Um, one of the very few vineyards owned by um, a woman and her two daughters, and we took a tour, a tasting, had lunch there, but we stopped off in two cities, um, and it was so amazing. One of them, we actually went into a castle um, that they had a really beautiful fort, and the views from these towns were everything that dreams are made of and we also stopped off had some wine and a couple of places but this part of Italy is known for um, Sangiovese grapes and they are strictly um, responsible for the Brunello wines that you see so if you need to go back and watch my wine video because I talk about some Italian wines and this is this is definitely a, a must do on your trip. Get a tour guide to actually show you the city. trip last but not least would be Sorrento which is in Amalfi Coast and we took the train from Tuscany down to Sorrento and it was such a scenic trip um, the trains in Italy have VIP section just watch out for people trying to um, sell you random things on the train because they think that you know americans just you know throw money at them which is quite funny but it's a beautiful trip down and it takes a couple of hours and when you get anywhere close to a mafia coast it is almost like a picture book um it doesn't look real um it's mm, between let's say the the coast of Naples and on the other side of Mount Vesuvio um, that's where there was that volcanic explosion um, which destroyed the city of Pompeii but I would absolutely recommend taking a trip down anywhere to Sorrento or Positano Raffaello um, it's like nothing I've ever seen. And we pulled up to Bellevue Serene and my mouth dropped open. Now Bellevue Serene is one of the most amazing views that you could get on Amalfi Coast. It's set right on the water. Um, as you walk out of your hotel room, there is a small terrace um, that you can absolutely hear the waves crash. It's a small boutique hotel as well, but the service is amazing. Every afternoon from two to four, they set up a um, siesta-like lunch, 
and there is champagne and prosecco and limoncello and anything you want to drink free of charge just in the lobby so you could go downstairs you could sit by the fire or you could take it back up to your room and they had macaroons and they had dessert it's beautiful absolutely stunning and you can also walk around sorrento right from the hotel car service definitely check it out this was the most romantic dinner i had ever had at the moment and this is a michelin star restaurant which is located in positano the drive over is a little scary i will say just because of the heights music at your table it's so beautiful absolutely would recommend this place for sure <laughs>